Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tiana here and this is Tiana's channel and today I'm going to be unboxing the Christian Louboutin So Kate uh, pumps in a size 38 and a half. These are the nude patent leather pumps and I've been eyeing them for a while and I caught them on a really good sale but I'll get into all of that later on in the video but before we get started please make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video on my channel I do like to talk about fashion and luxury designer items and I have plenty of more unboxings and reviews in the future so if you guys are interested to see any of that please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. So if you're not familiar with these Christian Louboutin Socate pumps, these are the 120 millimeter, but they also come in the 100 millimeter. And I like higher heels. I have like a tolerance for them, but they can still get to me at some time. So I do kind of want to give you guys some tips to help make these a little bit more comfortable if you guys are interested in going with the 120 millimeter size. These do come in other colors. They also come in patent leather black. They come in regular leather black and other different styles, designs and whatever. But these these specifically are the patent leather nude and I got these because they look really classy and I really like sophisticated classy looks however I don't think these shoes are designed for a long night out if I were going to recommend a shoe for you to go out in these would be the very last ones if you're looking for comfort because comfort is not in this box these are about six hundred and ninety five dollars but of course if you know me and if you know my channel I like to find a lot of luxury items on sale so I got these at a really good deal these cost about two hundred and eight dollars so they were extremely discounted it's a rare find you don't really see these shoes coming around for two hundred dollars so I did get really lucky and decided to purchase a pair but I got them in my usual size which is a 38.5 uh, or sometimes I do wear a 39 a lot of the times I do wear a 39 but I know I should have done my research before buying these because these do run extremely small so if you are interested in buying these shoes make sure to get a full size up so if you are 39 like myself or a 38 and a half go to a 39 and a half or go to a 40 and if you can try them on in the store before you purchase them that would be even better but since we're on this quarantine right now you have to really just use your better judgment and what you think will fit or try to do your research and watch other youtubers and see what their sizing recommendations are but I can tell you you should definitely size up one full size so because these are a little bit tight on me I decided to sell them on Poshmark and this is not a sponsored video whatsoever but I do have a Poshmark account and sometimes whenever I have luxury items that I don't want anymore or I buy them in the wrong size I do sell them on Poshmark and if I can't sell it for a profit then I will just ship it back because these did have a free 30-day return that's beside the point I'll leave my Poshmark link in the description so if you guys are interested in following me there will probably be some future designer items posted on my Poshmark but since I'm in the grace period of returning these I decided to try and sell these try to get some money back instead of shipping them back and just getting my full refund if you guys haven't downloaded Poshmark you definitely should like I said this is not sponsored but that's just my little two cents anyways moving on to the unboxing because that's what we're all here for um, this comes in a brown box I just got some sizing information on this side, sizing information on this side with the little Christian Louboutin logo right here. Um, for some reason, the box came to me, it was a little scratched, but because they were on sale, I'm not really picky. The box doesn't really mean much to me anyway. Just taking this off, and it comes with the red dust bag. It's kind of like a velvety texture. Um, it just says Christian Louboutin on the front. But I did notice that this logo was kind of offset off to the left side instead of centered so I was worried when I sold these on Poshmark that someone would think they were fake because this is not centered to me I don't know if you can tell but it looks like it's closer like on my side than the center but anyways so that's what it came with these shoes also come with a dust bag for the tips but I didn't get that in my bag either. So I did have another friend who when I saw the sale I immediately sent her a link. She purchased the shoes and her in a different size. But she got a little dust bag like this size for the tips and I did not see that in my box. So maybe sometimes they come with a pair and sometimes they don't. I'm not sure. But because these were discounted I'm, I feel like that might have something to do with it. I have no idea. But anyway so you just continue 
you have the wrapping paper inside and then you have the shoe you have some kind of cloth in the middle but let me just take a pair out so these are the shoes as you can see this heel is very steep so this will probably get like a nice hour wear before they start killing your feet but I do want to give some tips on how you can make them a little bit more comfortable towards the end of this video. But as you can see, this is very steep. And if you get the 100 millimeter, you'll probably take off about this much. But um, it would not be too much taken off. So these are very, very nice. I really love them a lot. And I really wish they fit, but they don't. So they have to go back on the inside. It says Paris, Christian Louboutin. And then underneath, it's just got my sizing, 38 and a half. And it says Made in Italy and Christian Louboutin logo engraved on the sole. And then, of course, the red paint that comes with all Christian Louboutin shoes. And then the patent leather, some stitching. And it's just very sleek, very sleek design, very classy look. And if you are an experienced heel wearer, then these would be perfect for you. Um, but if you aren't used to wearing heels, I would not jump straight into so Kate's and definitely not the 120 millimeter. I would probably go for something a lot shorter, maybe 80 to 100 millimeter. Um, those might be a little bit more comfortable for you and more practical whenever you wear them. I personally have seen someone out and about wearing these and the girl did not want to move. Like she was planted in her chair the whole night. So if that's the kind of event you're going to, then sure, I don't see a problem with these. Um, someone's dropping you off and you're going straight to your chair or straight to your table or whatever then yes these would be okay for that kind of event but if you plan on walking around mingling with others don't wear these do yourself a favor and try to go with something else another thing about these is whenever you put them on they do show a little bit of toe cleavage um, in the front so if that's something that bothers you then I would not go with these either but if that's okay with you like I know I have long toes so I'm bound to get some toe cleavage but that doesn't really bother me but for some they don't want any of that showing so get something that will come a little bit higher for you because your toes will be crammed towards the front causing a little bit of cleavage to to show so I'm just gonna take the other pair out of the box I might repurchase them in the future if I can come across another good deal like that but if I can't, then I'm, after trying these on, I'm 100% okay not owning these. They are beautiful. Do not get me wrong. These are beautiful shoes. But I like to walk around when I go out. So I'm not sure um, unless I can get them to be very comfortable. I don't know how I would fare in these for the whole night. But yeah, so this is the other pair. And then putting them together, this is what they would look like. Lastly, I just want to move on to some tips that you can do to help make this shoe more comfortable if you do decide to get it. First things first, this is able to be taken down. You can take this shoe to a shoe doctor and get this heel taken off just a little bit. This is essentially a metal rod inside of the heel, so they can't cut into the metal rod to cut it down, but they are able to take a little bit off of the bottom where the metal rod stops and take this heel up a couple of millimeters and relieve some pressure off of this area of the foot. Another option you can do is at the shoe doctor, you can get some kind of covering to cover this area. It'll help you walk easier in these shoes. Because they're so slick, and this is essentially just paint, there's no gripping, there's no, there's nothing. So you can get like a little rubber padding put on here. A lot of shoe doctors will have a color similar to this and it looks the exact same and it'll look like nothing is under your shoe. It'll protect the red paint from being chipped on your shoe. It'll also help you walk a lot easier. That's the purpose of it. And another thing you can do is place a little device in here that stretches the shoe. So you can kind of turn it and it'll expand as you turn it and it'll expand in this area and kind of stretch it so you can relieve some pressure on your feet in this area 
whenever you do decide to wear it but because this is patent leather it's not going to stretch as much as a normal leather shoe would so you'll just have to do what you can as far as stretching it but you could also wear them around the house for just a little bit at a time maybe like an hour half an hour here and there try to sleep in them try to just loosen them up I've seen some people say that it's taken them anywhere from six weeks to six months to make these more comfortable for them to wear so if you're interested in doing that I mean the shoe is an investment so I feel like it's worth the time trying to make them comfortable but for the price you're paying I kind of feel like they should come comfortable but these don't but yeah that's pretty much it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching uh, like I said subscribe to my channel if you do want to see more luxury designer unboxings I do have a couple of things stacked up that I need to go ahead and film so I can wear them finally because I have not opened them and I want to open them on my channel so make sure you guys subscribe for that if you're interested in luxury designer items I make videos every Sunday so make sure you guys are subscribed and tuned in every Sunday. Until then, I will see you guys next week in next week's video. Bye guys!